and welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen. And this morning, it's the weather can't make up its mind. Woke up and it looked really autumnally, so I thought, soup. So that's what we're gonna be having for lunch. And I'll just run through the ingredients with you. It's a bean soup. So I need a tin of taco beans. You can buy the taco bean salad. That would do just as well. I need a tin of baked beans. You can also add a tin of kidney beans, but it is just for the two of us, so I don't need to add those. You need a tin of tomatoes. I'm just using these because I've had them in the cupboard for quite a while, so they need using. You need a diced onion, and you need a rib of celery, or a stick of celery that you've chopped. But I just want to point out, I've done hot well most of it, this celery, okay, I bought it probably four weeks ago. I took off the stalk and I wrapped it in foil and kept it in the fridge and it is perfect. So, I love celery, Steve hates it. Hate, hates me eating because of the noise. Um, if you want your celery to last, wrap in foil and keep it in your fridge and it will last a long, 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 long time. Okay, the other ingredients I need, I'll need a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of oregano, that's rosemary, I need a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon of oregano and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning along with salt and pepper. And that is all you need. So, come down, oh no, I fibbed to you. Normally, I would use spinach at the end, but I haven't got any. So I'm going to finely chop some of this um, savoy cabbage, finely sliced. So, that's it. I'm doing it again, isn't I? I'm lying. A stock cube, but I love this, a vegetable stock cube and we'll need a couple of tins of hot water. And when I say tins, rinse out your tins to get all that goodness out by using hot water. Okay, that's it. Now come on down and see what we do. What do we do? We take our onions and we pop them into our Ninja 15 in one. We add our celery and that goes in. No oil, no, no uh, sauteing, no nothing. And then we take our tins of beans, baked beans, lid off, and in they go. Now, if you're not using the small cherry tomatoes like I am, then use chopped tin tomatoes. Okay, so we're going to go in with our tomatoes. Tomatoes, so you can see. They've got a few herbs in there, I do think. Oh no, they haven't. Go straight in with those. Look at these, aren't they lovely? In with the cherry tomatoes. In with the taco beans. And now we're going to go in with our herbs. Two teaspoons of the mixed herbs. Need that to be filled up. A teaspoon of oregano. of rosemary oh, it smells so lovely a teaspoon of paprika I mean you'll be surprised to hear I've got more paprika than you that's half paprika some salt 
and some pepper. Still haven't filled up this salt. Right, good pinch of pepper. And some salt. Right, that's it. In with the vegetable stock powder or cube I just think this stuff is lovely and then our two tins of in fact I'm only going to do about I'm not filling both tins right up to be honest oh yeah that's very hot there you go Two thirds full. One, and I'll do the taco beans. I think because that's in a tomato sauce. So we really want to get most of that, don't we? All right, taco beans. Rinse that round, and then I'll pour it into the baked beans and I know that I've got all the goodness so that goes in right that's it now I'm just going to give it a little stir lid down switch it on slide across to pressure cook I want a delayed release and I only want to cook for seven minutes make sure that my lid my vent is shut and I press start right that's how easy your soup is piece of cake or what we'll be back just as we are going to serve up I have finely shredded some cabbage to go into the soup and you know what goes really well with soup a nice toasted cheese sandwich so I've got that ready to go in the ninja but this is a taco soup isn't it so what I thought was let's make some um what do you call them anyway brain's gone so I can't remember so I've got two tortillas here and I'm just going to chop them into triangles and then I will be going to I will be going to I will be putting them into the ninja on air fry just to crisp up and so we can have some crispy nachos that's the word crispy nacho on the top so that's that toast done let's just move this back slightly and pull this out take out that and we're just going to pop these into the drawer of the ninja it doesn't actually matter if they overlap i'm not fussed it doesn't matter I'm going to spray them with a little avocado oil and then I'm going to select draw one and we want air fry and 200 is fine but we only want for about I'm going to go six minutes but I will check so you'll see these when they're done steam has almost all been released and once it is you'll hear and the pin will drop so I'm ready um maybe went a little bit overboard on these a bit too much but they're going to soak in the soup anyway so I'll leave a couple hold and the others I'm just going to break up ready to scatter over ah, our taco bean soup there we go, done. Slide across carefully. Use this to lift, it says quite clearly lift here. Oh. 
get a lovely silk sauna. Oh, and that looks very nice. And then I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top and let it wilt. Put the lid down and let it wilt. Just for a minute or two. Really won't take long at all. Pop the lid back down. And let's have a look at the cheese toasty that I made to go alongside. There we go. Now, always, always, always use a plastic or silicone spatula. Here is our cheese toasty. Beautiful melted cheese. Some burnt bits which are delicious. So I'm going to slice this up and then we'll dish up. Well then, there we have our two taco bean soups. I'm just going to sprinkle some of the nachos over mine. Very crumbly as I said and Steve will do his if indeed he wants it and I just want to show you this lovely cheese toasty look at that so that's how easy a taco bean soup is to make um, we'll obviously be back with the taste right then taco bean soup let's get ready for the taste very hot obviously just come out of the uh, pressure cooker so I've got some of the beans and a piece of the tortilla chip and uh, it's gonna be too hot it really is I'm gonna burn myself things I do for you guys myself or not I'm going in for more aren't I that is nice could have actually done with more chilli I could put some chilli in there now and it would still work so adjust to suit and cheese toasty wasn't in doubt was it the ninja jewel does make a rather good toasty I've even dumped it mm. so all it remains for me to say is thank you for watching this edition of in the kitchen with pen if you've liked our bean soup please give us a thumbs up any comments write them down below please don't forget to share and subscribe we really do appreciate it but for now thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye thank you for watching this edition of in the kitchen with pen and quite a lot of the time Steve if you've liked what we do and want to see more then click here and if you like to subscribe please click here thanks for watching see you soon bye bye keep cooking